For sure, I felt like I felt like I was at home, honestly, and just seeing all you and seeing the crowd, and then seeing the sun shirts, and then it's just awesome. Just I know I'm home, and it's gonna be home for the next couple of years. Was this your first time playing in North Carolina? First time playing North Carolina. I visited, of course, right, right, right. watched my brother and seeing all the people. And I've, I know how crazy, how good North Carolina fans are because I've seen after the games, he walks out and it takes him about 30 minutes to get to the car. And it's, <laughs> they all know they're the crazy and it's a good type of crazy though. I must say, so this is your first taste of it? For sure, for sure. First you taste. Think? Yeah, first taste is awesome. These fans are probably, in my opinion, of course, best in the country. Up during your recruitment, I think there was a, a lot of the media, myself included, who covered you, kind of felt like Arizona was leading going into that Carolina visit. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's true or not, but it was kind of the buzz. Mm -hmm. What did it for you on the Carolina visit that made you decide? Uh, honestly, it was nothing that really did it on North Carolina visit. Besides, I, I did bond well with the team just because Cam played there. And as soon as I walked in, they were like, little Cam, what's up? Like, they all knew me, of course, because like, I've been around them for the past two years. and. It's just I bonded well with them, and I really bonded well with the coaching staff, and it was just a good fit, in my opinion. There's nothing bad against Arizona. It's a great program. They're doing great things, but it was just a great fit. And coming into it, I had no biased opinion coming in when I went to my North Carolina visit. I was really just 50-50 between those two, and uh, it's just a great visit, and Coach Williams is a great coach, and I just believe in the coaching staff for sure. Speaking last, of Last question. Speaking of coaching staff, did you know Coach Robinson was going to come and have you talked to him? Yeah, today? yeah. Coach uh, Fred texted me and he uh, told my dad that Coach Robinson was going to come. And uh, he's a great coach, also. And they're all just um, here to try to make the players better. And he just wanted to say what's up to me and just know he was there. Excited about playing with those guys next year Sharp, Love, Kessler, all those guys? For sure. I've talked to them and um, it's going to be a great group coming in. Obviously, just by our ranking, we're not only just good in ranking, but we're also good people. And that's what Coach Williams likes. And he called me the day I signed. He was just like, oh, I'm the happiest guy in the world. Just to tell you guys, I call every single player just to say, I'm not, I'm not just happy because of how good players you guys are, but how good people you are also. Are you gonna stick around and watch Dayron play? play what time do you play? The next game. I would, but I would. I'm, I'm gonna catch him sometime, but I would. But uh, my team, we have like a reservation for food, and I'm. I'm What's your relationship with the other guys in the class? Okay, I've talked to uh, Caleb, Daron, RJ. I played top 100 with them. Just great people, and um, they're my guys for sure. And it's gonna be a great group. We're gonna bond real good together. How much does it help playing with a talented group now to make that transition to play with a talented group next year once you get to Carolina? It's a good experience. That's the biggest reason why I wanted to come to Hillcrest because I knew that there's a lot of talent, and you gotta learn how to play with talent. It's the biggest thing you gotta learn. If you're not scoring, you gotta do something else on the court, and that's what I'm trying to learn, and I'm just trying to do the best I can. What's your goal in terms of how you, what you wanted to get out of this Hillcrest experience? I, the biggest goal was just trying to play with good players and understand what I can do besides just scoring the ball and just trying to get better at that because in North Carolina, I'm going to be playing also a whole bunch of good players. And wherever, before I came out, of course, I haven't committed to North Carolina yet, but I knew whatever calls I was going to go to, I was going to play with good players. So I have to learn how to do that and how to work off them and just know what to do. You said the Carolina players, when you visited, they call you Little Cam. Yeah. You look like your brother, same man. But how do you look, how do you look step out of his shadow? Is that even the right word? Step out of his shadow once you get to Carolina. Uh, the biggest thing is I'm not going to take his number. And I'm definitely not going to do that, but um, for sure, the coaching staff, uh, Coach Williams always tells me that I'm not going to compare you to Cam when you come here and that you're your own person, you're Puff, and I'm going to treat you as Puff. And to me, there's no like shadow of him. It's just I'm going to do the best I can when I get there. Is there any added nerves playing in North Carolina in front of this crowd? Or is it just I knew game? I knew when I come it was, I knew when I was gonna come here that it was gonna be crazy but I didn't think it was gonna be this crazy as soon as I walk in people ask for pictures but uh, it's a great it's a great fan section and it's a great atmosphere around here that's why I picked it. What do you need to do better to step in North Carolina making it back? Big things I just want to work in the off season on my strength and Cam told me because he's gonna come down North Carolina in the off season he knows what the uh, strength and conditioning people want and he knows what Coach Williams expects so he's gonna help me during the off season to train me. And what Coach Williams wants and try to get me ready for lifting when I go there in the summer. Where will you guys do that spring training together? Who, me and Cam? Yeah. He'll be down in North Carolina during the summer, but I'll also, um, after his basketball season, after the sun's finished, he'll be um, down just working out with me he'll back in Pittsburgh. Yeah, 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 he'll be, he, and also in April, he'll be down working with me in um, Pittsburgh, and he knows what the coaching staff wants, as in lifting, and so he's going to get me prepared for that. What has he told you about his first season in the NBA? Who, Cam? Yeah. Uh, he's... He said he likes it. He said it's a lot different. He said if you go back to college, you feel like it would be a lot easier. Now looking at the NBA, he said, but um, he's doing real well and he's having a great season. I'm proud of him.